What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica, and we are down here. Peace, y'all. Take care of each other. Protect your energy. Baby, that episode, when I tell you the actresses, they need to get a, what award do they get? An Emmy. They need a day, a nighttime, an evening Emmy, a soap opera Emmy. The cast of Beverly Hills Housewives, baby, they this season they won thanks to Erica Sutton and Garcelle. They done carry the season on they backs, honey. No thanks to Lisa Renna and Kyle Richards. Y'all some bitches. Kyle, especially you, especially all that shit you was talking, like, Kyle, she, she, I'm a t I have my notes, I had them in my phone, and then I finished watching the episode on my phone, so I had to take paper notes, I know you don't, like, Erica, that, what, don't nobody care how, what the process is, girl, just give us the final product, anyway, so the sun is beaming on your girl, I'm down here a little later, so the sun is up a little higher, the crows are out and we are down here so let me some ventilation in here so i don't um suffocate and here we are this this crow right here is walking i don't know what's wrong with his feathers but uh yeah girl what is going away so i'm drinking me a little liver detox tea i was gonna do some chai tea this morning but I'm going to do a little um, detox. It says, now I'm going to stay in bed. Now I'm going to stay in bed. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Okay. Dorit, she's trying on wedding dresses. The wedding dresses looked really, really nice. The one that I liked the best, PK was good with the names. The one that I liked the best was The Woman. And then I think it was the actress. Those are the two I like the best. They those two dresses, I was like, oh yes, those are really, 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 really pretty. The woman, that white dress that just went all the way down. Dari has some cute dresses coming out. So really cute. So shout out to Dari for that. And she talked about how PK um how he's like really creative and he comes up with the names and stuff like that. And you see how he was doing that? That's what Nicole Young was doing with Dr. Dre. See, that's how little things like that, how you, like, he literally named her swimwear line. Name it, don't name it Nava, whatever the hell you was trying to name it. Name it Beverly Beach. And that was the end of that. Now that's the name of her thing. Now I'm sure he's going to want, if anything ever happens to that, where they need to liquidate that, he's going to be like, baby, I came up with the name. You better give me some of it. That's how it works. And, you, and you're just sitting there as the husband or wife, throwing ideas out, broad strokes, right? Let's get with the broad strokes. And you're throwing out ideas. See how easy that happened? All right, anyway. So PK said that he really hopes that what's happening with Erica, PK and Mauricio both said they really hope, like, basically what's happen, happening with Erica is not real or whatever so Sutton at Sutton's house they're you know getting her she's doing her house she's there it's getting built and everything's big or whatever she's saying where everything needs to go and how she wants to be able to look out the window and ponder life and all this other stuff Sutton is funny she's good she's good she's good for tv um so she said she's gonna handle Erica with kid gloves you know and she she didn't like when that doodle -doo nail was posted was was pointing in her face calling her Miss Small Town she says she felt betrayed by that. Um, um, and she said, take care of what? Take care of acting as if she's innocent. Um, she's acting as if she's innocent. She made a deal with the devil, and the devil always comes knocking. Sutton, let me tell you something. With Sutton and Garcelle, and I think that's probably why they are so, like last night I said on Twitter, I like them together because it seems like they're familiar already with each other. And I say that, 
even this morning when I was watching it again, when Sutton and um, Garcelle are on the phone, they're kind of like saying, girl, we got to stick up for stick up for ourselves when we get to Kathy's house. And then they were like, girl, girl, hurry up and get ready. You know, like bickering almost. So that, that's why I'm like, it's, they're, they're kind of familiar and I like them. But they're also direct. And I, I have everything written down from the dinner table because I was like, Sutton really was asking the questions. And I'm, I'm, I'm confused as to why the ones who are sitting there like this, waiting for all the questions to be answered and not asked answer not asking the questions themselves but they're there for the answer but now they want to hold you accountable for holding a meeting and saying that they think that she thinks erica is a liar she's saying it y'all want her to be held accountable but y'all are thinking it y'all are thinking it and it's like really like garcelle said making sudden a scapegoat because all of y'all have something to say all of y'all there, no one sitting at that table believes that Erica Jane is 100% honest with them. That If you do, you a damn fool. And I got a beach house in Idaho to sell you. Girl. But see, y'all playing games and y'all acting like she she talks big and bad when, when nobody is around. But when she's around that person, it's a completely different story. Kyle Richards. Kyle. Girl. That's you, boo. That is you. That is Lisa. That is Dorit. Y'all do that shit. Y'all are doing that shit. When they showed that clip of Sutton, she was asking her, did they tell you how to navigate around the story? Basically, did they tell you, did they give you a story to tell? Basically, did they tell you how to lie? Um, did you, are you really blindsided by this? Basically, she's like insinuating like, girl, I don't think that you're not in... You, you don't have any awareness when these things are happening. You are completely blindsided. Blindsided to the point that before this came out, you filed for divorce. That blindsided? Okay. See, the shit doesn't match. And anybody with a fucking brain would ask questions and ask their friend the direct questions. Now, if the friend is going to turn around and lie, that's a different story. But I'm asking, you don't have to answer. But here are the, here are the concerns that I have. You don't have to answer. You could say it's none of my damn business. Because it, it, it's not. It's not. But like Sutton said, bitch, I built my shit from the bottom up. I'll be damned if a bitch with a funky attitude ruins that for me. So I need to protect my assets. And I'm sure everybody feels like that. But then when she realized, well, girl, none of this will have anything to do with you. But it's don't act like our names, like Dorit, to Dorit's point, don't act like our names don't get dragged in the shit. The only reason why they mentioned your name in this lawsuit is because you're on TV. If you were not on Beverly Hills Housewives, you would not be mentioned in this lawsuit. It would be nothing. Nobody wouldn't be. It would be all time. But put her name in the lawsuit. She's getting money, $25 million on credit cards and stuff to fund your lifestyle using his company's receivables to fund your lifestyle. But you're not blindsided? Shut up, Erica. That's why the devil is knocking, like Sutton said. You made a deal with the devil and the devil comes knocking looking for its motherfucking money and his whatever he needs back she he whatever they crystal she's talking about her kids and they're learning chinese and she doesn't want her kids to lose culture erica comes over i don't know why they were trying to hide her face the whole time that was weird i was like that's clearly erica walking up there but she comes over kathy and garcelle come over um they start talking Garcelle is uncomfortable by the conversation. She's like, okay, are these bitches crazy? They know how close Sutton and I are, and they sitting up here, Crystal. Now, we know Crystal. I was like, first, at first, I was shocked at the way Crystal was talking about Sutton, but I was like, oh, I forgot she has a problem with her. So, you know, Crystal, we've been saying that Crystal is a mean girl. They sat at that table, and they was talking cash money. Shit, she's awkward. She's weird. She's this and she's that. And then um, she says... Sutton was kind hearted. Um, if, if she doesn't care, why should you? Um, and then they started talking about 
she belongs to the same country club as me and I don't know her. I ain't never heard of her. This is Erica. And then what's her name was like, neither have I. And then I think Kathy said, neither have I. Okay. So just because y'all don't know her, that means that what? Like Garcelle said, just because y'all don't know her, that doesn't mean that they're, I don't know you, bitch. I know Rob Minkoff. We, we ain't never heard of Crystal Minkoff ever till yesterday. So who are you? I don't know you, girl. That's stupid. That's childish. And it's mean girl. Mean girl. She, she belongs to the same country club, but we never heard of her. Erica, do you still belong to that country club? <laughs> Since you want to play, bitch. Come in for sudden. Shit, don't have me out here. Kyle and Mauricio, they have a nice, a nice 25th anniversary dinner together. Very nice. Mauricio's fine as hell. He's out there lighting candles, making cracking crab and everything like that so they have their little talk and kyle was talking about how her, she never it was funny because she did say it three times on the third time she was trying to have a moment and trying to shed a tear and he was like I, yep i'm about to have this last crab right here she was like i'm trying to have a moment with you he was like you said it three times you i heard you already three times here we go 25 years we get it your mama didn't didn't honor or value marriage like you do girl okay we get it you didn't think he was gonna be married like this okay great it was cute. It was cute. Mauricio and Kyle are cute. And I, I'm glad she made it clear because, honey, if you act like you're loving in any kind of way, the people act like you never fight. She was like, we fight. And um, Mauricio usually has to apologize because he wants peace in his life. Mauricio be high and he don't give a damn. He sell a few houses. He sell a few houses that really could probably feed a small village in his commission. <laughs> And then he just goes on about his way, goes to the dispensary and does not have a care in the world. But he also said he hopes Erica, you know, he was like, I didn't know they've been married that long. I love the little conversation that they were having back and forth or whatever. All right. So we get to Kathy's house. She got butlers and shit. I said, come on, Patrick, Patrick, the butler. Um, she had the little seating arrangement. Everything looked really nice. The Baccarat um, candlesticks. They said $950 a piece. Baby, okay, honey, opulence, honey, and elegance, honey. I got this um, glue on my fingers, and I'm trying to get it off, and it won't. Anyways, so yeah, so they send down. Patrick is in there telling everybody, you know, he told Lisa Renner that he he's fr he's French, and so he loves feminine and elegance, honey. He loved her. I was like, she looked like motherfucking Elvis Presley. Who are you looking at? Maybe it was the lavender she had on. She came up there with her hair swooped to the side, looking like she had a guitar in the in the trunk of her car. And then Erica looked really nice. That's the nice the the nicest that Erica has looked since she um, fired her glam squad. That she looked really nice. Maybe because she's coming to Kathy Hilton's house, so she was like, let me let me look a little. Let me, let me comb my hair. Let me lay my baby hairs down. So she got there. Um, she looked nice. Doris, 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 Dorit looked nice in her Versace, Versace. Um, in my Versace. How, do, how was Sonia Morgan saying it? Like, uh, Bershon, Versace. Um, who else was there? Kyle. Kyle looked okay. Kathy looked okay. She was like, she does not like for people to arrive early. And then they showed Lisa talking about, hello. Girl, Lisa, go sit down. You're so eager. You're such a little eager beaver. A little a little ambitious little climber, aren't you, Lisa Renna? Fucking bitch. She's sitting up there. She's the only one. But the people say they want to talk to Lisa Renna since you've been so vocal about what Erica, you know, about Erica's innocence. Girl, what do you know that we don't know? We need to have a sit down with you. Right? So Sutton says when they get ready to sit down, they're um, about to, you know, start eating. And um, Sutton says, this is a perfect time for me to talk to you, Sutton. And Erica, she says, what? She said, what do you want to talk to me about, Erica? <laughs> she was like, girl, what? What do you want? She was like, I just wanted to tell you what was said at Dorit's house. And she was like, I don't care because your opinion of me doesn't matter. So it doesn't matter, girl. What are you trying to do? It does not matter. It don't matter. And then she excused herself and she was like, and Patrick and Garcelle was like, girl, did you hear that? You saw Patrick and Garcelle over there trying to listen to what was going on. 
So she goes to the bathroom. Even Lisa's nosy ass was in the corner talking about what happened. She was like, girl, nothing. Honey, I'm looking for the bathroom. So she went to the bathroom, came back. They was like, what happened? She was like, she didn't take it well. She went to, she was in the bathroom. Uh, what's her name? Was like, she didn't take it well. And she was like, um, not that anybody else is going to do it. Cause I want to tell her what I was, what I said at Dorit's house, because not like anybody else is going to do it. And that's fine. That's okay. And that's, and that's what I, I trip out because they get so comfortable that they forget that they are being filmed and that whether you sit here and lie on a Tuesday about what you said Sunday night at Dorit's house, bitch, it's on film. So what will happen is while you sitting here on Tuesday lying and acting like you weren't contributing to the conversation or that you didn't have the same concerns or concerns that were similar to Sutton's, Erica is going to see the film on how y'all was acting. So y'all can lie today. But we're going to roll the tapes. And that's it. That's why I was like, y'all are really crazy. Y'all sitting here acting like y'all weren't contributing to the conversation. So, sounds like, I, ain't nobody else going to say nothing. I know it's going to be just me. She already called, she basically called them out. Like, y'all bitches are some punks. Yeah. Y'all are some fucking weak bitches. Because y'all sat there, talked your shit, and now you want to put it all on me. Because I was the one who actually vocal about it. Where you guys will sit amongst each other and do, 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 do all this talking. But I'm asking her the direct question. Same like Garcelle with Dorit. Garcelle is saying shit to Dorit directly. But you say she's doing it passive aggressively. No, what? that's what you would do. And that's what you're used to doing. It's talking behind people's backs. And people not being direct. And asking you questions that they want to know. That's why y'all don't understand what's going on. Because Garcelle and Sutton both have been really direct. And I'm so glad they showed those three times that Sutton said what she said to Erica. She was asking the questions and everybody else was like this. Yeah, y'all bitches want to know, but y'all don't want to ask the questions. Because when she goes off, then y'all sitting there all scared. What the fuck are y'all scared of Erica Jane for? That's what I'm trying to figure out. What are y'all afraid of? Rena is drunk. She got the bell. Patrick came and got that bell. He's like, uh-uh. Baby, when they brought out that caviar pie and vodka, baby, I was like, yeah. Ooh! I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I was like, Dorit, baby. She, but Dorit was like, baby, I feel like I'm right at home. Baby, <laughs> I feel like this is this is what I, this is me. <laughs> this is all me right here. Baby, cut that caviar pie. Thank you. Merci. <laughs> That shit was hilarious. I'm with Dorit on that one, baby. So they had the vodka and the caviar pie. That shit look good. I'm sorry. Anyways, Dorit, she starts talking. She says, I don't want to hijack the conversation. And then Kathy was like, girl, when don't you? So they, she starts talking to Garcelle. Garcelle, I don't like confrontation. Garcelle's like, I don't either. And she's like, well, you know, I felt real shitty. And then she, she continued to talk. And Kathy said, let me just say this. Let's eat. This is we're having we have a nice dinner happening here. We want to enjoy our food. Like Kathy, shout out to Kathy Hilton. Get, girl, I'm about to eat caviar. I have this vodka right here. I need to be don't just let's wait. Okay. We could talk about this later. I really want to be centered and in a good place to receive this nourishing, salty ass. Yes. We love caviar, honey. Sorry. I love it. I don't ruin my dinner. I told y'all about that the other day. Don't sit with people and you can't be like, and your nervous system is shot. You can't eat. You can't eat comfortably. Be quiet. I'm, I'm so glad Kathy shut that shit down. Anyway, so Kyle tells Sutton that she's better off just saying it. Basically, she wants Sutton to say, girl, I don't trust you. I think you're lying. That's what, the, that's what they want Sutton to say to Erica. So... Um, she said, I don't give a fuck what you have to say. I don't care what you have to say. I don't care what you have, have to say. She was like, stop speaking on my life. And then she had the nerve to tell, she had the nerve to tell Sutton, don't raise your voice at me. Girl, what? You, you up here cussing me out and telling me, calling me Miss Small Town. I can't raise my voice at you calling me names. 
but I can't raise voice at you. All I'm doing is questioning whether or not I need to protect myself around you because what you've done and what your husband has done and the action that you've taken once all these stories have come out, bitch, you're looking real shifty to me. So just because I'm your friend does not mean that I'm supposed to believe 100% of what you're saying, nor are you probably telling me 100% of the truth. You want me to believe 100% of what you're saying and you're not telling me 100% the truth. So what, what, are, what do we do now? Fucking Erica, don't raise your voice at me. She's like, I'm not talking anymore. And then she tells, and then you can hear her. They were doing other conversations, but you can hear Erica tell Sutton, apparently you do a lot of talking when I'm not there. Did y'all hear her? You Apparently you're running your mouth. That's what she said when I'm not there. She's like, listen, you made that small town comment. I didn't like it basically and she's saying that you know my husband my ex-husband and I, I know that we're divorced but we built our business from the ground up i know i'm divorced but i do not want to risk what i've built from the ground up you don't have to have a panic attack a panic attack you don't have to have what she said you don't have to panic about anything she said my life doesn't affect you and then dorit chimes in finally and says well, I don't agree with that because as you know, we get dragged when the article comes out about you, we get dragged in the articles to basically Dorita said, bitch, when they focus on you, they start looking at us, right? Because Dorita and PK, they've had their share of lawsuits and shit, right? Um, everybody, Kyle, I'm sure Kyle has because they got real estate and stuff like that, real estate businesses and stuff like that. So I'm sure she has as well. It's just, it comes with the territory. But your crimes, your husband's crimes have victims. This is not like a tax thing or a lien or anything like that. This is people. And like Garcelle said, what about the victims? They have they already didn't have and now they have even less because you've stolen from them and they've lost their loved ones. I'm talking about the plane crash victims, families. Doree says, I want to know, could I be subpoena? Could I be, you know, could I, could I be implicated? Erica says, I'm going to remember when this is all said and done, I'm going to remember who was against me and who was for me. And Lisa ran over there like, girl, I'm in there. I'm in there, girl. I'm in there. You got me. You got me. I'm good, girl. Lisa Rena get on my nerves. Crystal was like, I don't think anything, I don't think anyone, my husband has been on the set with people who are me too, and he doesn't have anything to do with that. Crystal, I don't know what's going on with Crystal. I don't know what happened at that dinner that night with Kathy and Erica and Garcelle, but girl, what was that? You, you should have just set, ate your food. That's all you should have done. Be quiet. Garcelle said, is it not human nature to want to have some reassurance that you're protected and that you're okay and you're not going to be implicated in any of this? That's just human nature. She was like, no, uh-uh. She didn't, she, she didn't want to hear that. And she was like, I want you to see what I'm, what I'm talking about. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm not trying to hurt you. Garcelle attempts to wipe Erica's tears. And Erica did her head like that. And then she was like, no, don't do that. You know, like she's trying to comfort you and you don't want it, right? And it's okay. She doesn't want it. But then she was trying to hug her and she was like, you can take your hands off of me now. You could, you could take your hands off of me now. Don't touch me right now. Garcelle. Um, Doree says, I will do anything for you to support you, but it's a little hard to digest when you're reading about widows and orphans and you know burn victims and stuff like that so she was like how do you think i feel and then she was like she was like no she was like how do you what did she say something she was like oh i feel worse i feel worse and that's when garcelle in her interview said well what about the victims like girl you're okay you pay nine thousand dollars a month in rent isn't her her house a rental and she pays almost ten thousand dollars a month? Isn't that what it isn't that what it said? 
yeah, you're you're gonna be okay, <laughs> or not? Um, you guys are torturing me. She, look at me, Dorit. Look at me. Come on, Dorit. Look at me, honey. They are going to get the ensemble cast daytime Emmy award winning. Dorit said, "It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart." Nothing's being done to you though. Well, you what that's what that's what I wrote down. Nothing is being done to you, Erica. What are you sitting here? Ha what's happening? Oh, the devil is knocking and he wants his shit. That's what's happening. Is that why you are sitting up here crying and tearing up? Because you ain't never said shit about the victims. You, even as a rich wife, never came out and was like, you know what? I cannot believe this motherfucker was taken from people and actually was giving me the money. I, if I would have known, I would have never, like, none of that. It's me, 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 me. Woe is me. I'm not going to have access to these things. My life is in shambles. I got to vacuum now and clean the side of my refrigerator. My life is a mess. Nothing about the victims. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And that should have been the first thing that should have came out of your mouth. I, you know, I know I'm, I'm going to have like, basically like, I know that I'm going to be okay. I cannot believe he did this. I cannot believe he took money from this. I cannot believe these allegations. This is my husband. I would hate to believe that, but I did not know that this money was coming to me. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing. It's me, 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 me. My life is in shambles. It's not about these victims. And everybody around you is like, girl, what about the victims? Even Dory is like, girl, it's hard to read this shit. It's hard to read this shit. And then, um, what was Lisa Rinna talking about? Everybody just needs to love one another. Even Erica was like, girl, I love you, but that's some bullshit. Shut up. Shut up. And then she was like, do you want to trade places with me, Dorit? She was like, girl, I don't want to trade places with whatever the fuck you going to. It's a fucking nightmare over there. I don't want to trade places with you at all. I do not, my love. Kyle says, Erica, don't you want to know what was said about you when you're not there? Because Kyle, she's here for the show. Kyle is here for the show. She want to know. She says, I'm sorry, Sutton, but, you know, I need to tell her what you said. You basic. So they turn all the way back around to Sutton. Because Kyle goes, "This remember, guys, this is about Sutton, what Sutton said at Dorit's house. Remember, this is what this is about. And she, everybody turns back to Dorit. I mean, to Sutton. Y'all ain't shit. You're putting us in a bad situation. That's what um, Kyle said to Sutton. How? Because I said the bitch was lying and y'all too afraid to say she's lying? Is that how? And y'all too chicken shit? To use the Reed's phrase? You too chicken shit. To tell her you think that she's not being 100% honest with you. She's not. Why would she? Because she knows y'all talk behind her back and then y'all get mad at the people who ask the direct questions. Because you guys are comfortable with being talked about when you're not there. You you know that that happens. So when people are direct, you don't know how to act. You call it passive aggressive. <laughs> she says you're being two-faced. She says she's being two-faced. Sutton said they need to check the other side of their faces because they're the ones doing all the talking. I'm asking the questions I want to know. Bitch, I got shit to protect. And, and I don't care how you feel feel about me protecting myself i don't care how you feel your feelings could be hurt but i'm protecting myself girl me first the fuck kyle said she said um kyle said she said what we all we all had something to say she said what we were all thinking and basically wanting to ask but we just didn't ask so now y'all want to push her up and be like go sutton Get in front of Erica and tell her what you were saying, even though we all wanted to know. We want to know the answers. But y'all too chicken shit, right? Kyle says that Sun has a big voice when the person is not there, but when she sees them, it's a completely different situation. That's you and Dorit. Sun says, I've softened my point of views. We all have questions, but we didn't call a meeting. That's what, that's what Kyle said. What's the difference? Y'all having meetings of two? Y'all meeting with just two of each other. Y'all used to talking shit. That's the bottom line. You said Erica lied. And I would have said, girl, and you think she's lying. And you too chicken shit to say it. I would have, 
Baby, when I tell you I would have backed all them bitches off of me so fast, but Sutton was really like, I'm going to take accountability for what I did. And she did not turn it on anybody else. Ex exactly what they're doing. She could have turned around and did the same exact thing to them. And that's why when Erica wasn't there, she says, I'm going to be the one to say it. And that it's okay. Cause I'm the only one to say it. Basically y'all bitches ain't, aren't going to say anything. So I'll take it. I'll take it. But all y'all talking to all of y'all, all of y'all, you lied about the car accident. So Sutton is saying that, when you told us that it broke his ankle, I was thinking that you were lying to cover up about the brain injury. She said it wasn't a lie. I would like to know, and the paper, the reports have shown, there is no police report from this accident. And the way that Erica described the accident, it felt like that he got into an accident on their property. She said this turn around near their house. So I don't know if he got into an accident and flew off the cliff like Thelma and Louise. This old ass, damn near 85 year old man only broke an ankle, was unconscious for 12 hours. And all of a sudden he has a brain in injury. We never saw Tom with a, with a damn cast. We never heard about it in a news report. No one has ever said famous attorney tom girardi was in a near fatal accident and he was in a coma for 12 hours or unconscious for 12 hours and when he woke up he called erica how does that sound to you does that sound like 100 percent of the truth okay i just wonder I don't trust you 100, 100%. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Bitch, I just met you. I don't trust you 100%. And now your husband, the person you laid down with, is taking money from orphans and widows and burn victims? Let me check and see if I'm. it's okay for me to hang out with you. And I noticed that Erica told her, bitch, I'm not going anywhere. When she told her on the, um, in the, um, at the little, uh, what, Lisa Rinna lip, lip kit thing. She was like, girl, I'm not going anywhere. Like, are you trying to move me around, like, out of this this cast? I'm not going nowhere. She was like, you're trying to accuse me of lying, and I'm not a liar. And here's how people play on words. Listen to what Erica did. Erica, you're not slick, okay? You cannot bullshit a bullshitter. Let me tell you something. Nobody is calling you a liar, right? But we are saying that you're lying about this. Y'all don't know how to talk to people. You're accusing me of lying and I'm not a liar. I'm not calling you a liar, but I'm saying that you are lying about this. I don't believe that you're 100% honest with us. You're telling us right here and right now that that story about Tom and Louise fall, flying off a damn cliff, you're telling me that's 100% the truth? And that would have been the question. Tell me that's 100% the story, Erica. Because you're a fucking liar. And you sitting up there because the, the damn mascara wasn't dripping down your face this time. It wasn't like it was at the park. Right? You're a fucking actress. And we have your number, bitch. And you better pay that motherfucking American Express bill. That's all I fucking know. You out here crying, talking about look at me. Bitch, we looking at you and we looking at a motherfucking storyteller that's what you want to be called since you don't want to be called a liar you're a storyteller you tell little stories colorful stories girl i'll go head to head with you any day bitch okay okay girl don't talk to me like that erica do not talk to me like that or what or what girl or nothing exactly shut the fuck up you don't know me you don't know what's going on you have no idea and then it was to be continued Girl, or nothing. If Sutton laughs at Erica's face one more time, bitch, you look crazy hollering at Sutton. Because every time you holler at, at her, she ends up laughing at you. <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> Girl, what? What are you about to do right here? Lose everything else you have? Because, bitch, touch me. Touch me, bitch. And you will be living. Where, where will be your next house? Touch me, honey. Or nothing, bitch. Or nothing. Because you ain't going to do nothing but sit here and growl. Fucking bitch. Erica, you're a liar. You're a liar and it's okay 
because you need to protect yourself, right? What I say, people lie from gain and fe and fear, right? You that's how I that's my theory that when people lie, that's why when people are, are lying for no reason, I look at them crazy because I figure if you're gonna lie, you either try you're lying because out of fear. Or you're lying to gain something. You're trying to get something out of somebody. Or you're scared that you're going to get caught doing something so you lie about it. Right? That's that's my theory. I don't know. It's, that's When I see people lie, that's usually what it boils down to. They want something or they're fearing uh, in fear of something. So when I see a person who lies for no reason, I look at them sideways because I'm like, mm, what are you lying for? You don't have no reason to lie. So that's weird. Okay. What are you scared of and what are you trying to gain here? What? Why are you lying? Right? So Erica is lying to protect herself. She's scared, okay? So it is okay for somebody to say, girl, I don't 100% believe the story. And she was like, that's the part that I said that you was lying about. And I, and I basically Sutton was saying, you were lying to cover up that he had a brain injury and not really, it wasn't really an ankle break. That's what she was saying that she was lying about. Because you haven't said anything else, so what else could you be lying about? You told that fantastical story, and then you came, and then you came home and saw the text messages from the call girl and posted them on the internet. And like, girl, shut up. You ain't going to do nothing or nothing. Anyways, y'all take care of each other. Protect your energy. Peace.